Hello guys, today I'm going to be talking about my new Libri Drive, or Library Drive, however you pronounce it. What is Library Drive and why you should get one? Now if you are interested in Blu-rays, the best software out there to rip Blu-rays is Make MKV. It will do basically a one-to-one -one, um, transcode of the Blu-ray. It won't do any... Um, re-encoding, re-rendering, or anything like that. It basically extracts the raw H.264 video file and all the um, audio tracks, you know, Dolby, HTS, um, and I'm, I'm blanking on the other one, um, but it basically takes the raw um, H.264 video and also the raw audio tracks and puts it into an MKV container. It also decrypts the video stream because Blu-rays are encrypted with a DRM scheme and um, you have to have the keys to do this which make MKV pulls down a list of keys now if you have a Blu-ray disc that does, we don't have the key for yet in the database make MKV you cannot rip the Blu-ray so to counteract this you want to get a Libri drive also, if you're interested in 4K, you know, Ultra HD, Blu-rays, those require a Libre drive. So what is a Libre drive? The best source for this information is over on the Make MKV forums. The uh, main developer of the software, Mike, went and explained what Libre drive is. So Libre drive is a mode of operation of an optical disk drive, whether it be a DVD drive, a Blu-ray drive, or a Ultra HD drive, which just means a, a Blu-ray drive that can read um, triple layer and quad layer Blu-rays, which would be 120 gig or 120 gig Blu-ray disc. When the data on the disc are accessed directly without any restrictions or transformations enforced by drive firmware, a Libri drive would never refuse to read data from the disc or dis declare itself revoked. Libri Drive compatible drive is required to read Ultra HD disc, aka 4K disc. Also, 1080p Blu-ray disc that we do not have the encryption key for. So they go on in the form and explain more of um, how it works. Um, they go in the history of the different DRM and protection schemes that have been implemented in optical discs, such as even DVD had the CSS protection scheme. Just um, These are all just DRM technologies that were implemented to um, counteract people ripping um, movies, TV shows, etc. from disc. Um, they want to be able to protect that some way, so of course they implement DRM. But of course, there's always somebody out there that's going to break the encryption so it kind of counterbalances it. So how um, DRM works for Blu-rays is um, basically all the data on the disk can be read by the drive. The drive is the one that checks to see if it's allowed to read the data on the disk. So basically the drive's firmware is playing police, as explained in these forms here. The drive's firmware basically says, hey, do I have the key for this? Does this key work? Oh, it doesn't? Okay, I'm not allowed to continue. But the drive is actually capable of reading all the data on the disk. You know, it's not like it's a, um, a door that's locked. No, it's just you're reading the rules on the door saying, hey, you're not allowed to access, don't go in. So what a Libre drive does is basically it gets rid of that policing in the firmware and just reads the entire disk, just raw access to the disk, basically bypassing any DRM or encryption schemes on Blu-ray disk. So having a Libre drive basically allows you to bypass any protections or any policing or restrictions. Also region locks as well. What you know, because some discs can be uh, made for U U United States only or Europe only or you know, um, Asia market only, etc. Libre Drive doesn't read any of that bullshit. It's like, nope, I'm not following the rules. I'm going to give you the raw data of the entire disc. 
So um, there's only a few drives out there that can do this. And um, you can, um, if you have one of these drives, you can um, flash the firmware and modify the firmware to um, get rid of that policing um, protection or whatever you want to call it in the firmware. Um, but if you don't know what you're doing, you can easily brick your optical drive. Um, so there's, all, there's a very slim list of drives that um, have firmware that can have the capability of being a Libre drive. But, um, of course, the list is on the Make MKV forums. I'll put all the links in the description. Um, but there is somebody over on the Make MKV forums that is selling um, drives that he has flashed himself. Another thing is if you buy one of these, these drives um, from Amazon, Newegg, whatever, that the model is compatible. Well, if you buy one that has been manufactured in um, a later year, say 2020, 2019, these will have updated firmwares on them, preventing you to go back to a firmware that has Libre Drive capability. So the manufacturers, Asus, um, Pioneer, Sony, um, LG, um, all these um, optical drive companies will... Um, basically update the firmware on the later versions of drives that they re they ship out that will um, circumvent people from flashing a modified firmware binary onto the um, EEPROM. So this guy has a big collection of old stock um, of these optical drives, old brand new stock. So he's never used them before. They're brand new. He just, he, he bought them all um, while they were still available sort of deal. And then he modified the firmware, um, which it may sound really hackerish, but it's not. You're, he's just modifying like like a single flag in the firmware saying, allow raw data access. It's it's pr it's kind of pretty simple as that. He's done that and he's selling these drives on the MakeMKV forums. You just, he, all he asks is you to email him asking what drive you want. He has a list of drives here. So I have his, um, his name and email address and he also has this publicly on the MakeMKV forums. I will post this all in the description. So his name is Alex... Kalazi, Kaluzi, sorry if I butchered your last name, and his email address is Alex Kaluzi, C O L U Z Z I 32 at gmail.com. And you just say, Hey, I want a Libre drive. That is spelled L I B R E drive, D R I V E. And um, he will give you a list of the drives he has. Now, I actually have his list here in front of me. So, um, these are all drives that he has, and he's modified the firmware on them to um, basically allow raw data access via Libre Drive. So the main one is the Asus or Asus BW-16D1HT, and he considers this the Cadillac of UHD-friendly drives. He sells this for $133.40. This is a full-size five and a quarter inch bare drive with eight times max read rip speed and Libre drive compatible. The superior ASUS firmware makes it both the fastest ripping and longest lasting drive available today. These come directly from the factory in Taiwan. I pay a premium from them and guarantee them 100%. Just to clarify, this is just a drive, no enclosure. You can install this directly into an open five and a quarter inch drive bay in your Windows PC or older Mac Pro tower, or use it externally via a USB enclosure. So um, I just got the bare drive because I'm going to put this directly into my um, workstation. There is also, he lists the LG WH16NS60. This is considered a UHD official, top of the line LG drive. Uh, reads, rips, and allows playback of 4K discs from the drive. He sells this for $153. Um, and he explains it and everything. There's also... Um, the LG BU40N. So if you needed a Libre, a Libre drive for a laptop, you would want to get the LG BU40N. Um, this is this will be a laptop size drive that you can install into a laptop. Now, if you're asking about like the the actual um, the bezel, you just pop the existing bezel off the existing drive in your laptop and then pop it onto the Libre drive. You can actually use the bezel that that is um, goes with the, the case, the style of your laptop, if that makes sense. So um, he accepts payment from, you know, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, etc. And I just emailed him 
and um, told him what I wanted and um, paid him via PayPal, and he, he shipped it right out. I believe he is based out of California, and he does use priority mail. So me being in Ohio, since he used priority mail, I got it within two days. Whereas if he would have used UPS, it would have been at least a week. So that is a good thing that he does use um, USPS priority mail. And he does have some pictures of the different drives, and he also um, is able to also put these into a USB enclosure. So say you want this drive to be like a USB plug-and-play drive. Obviously, you ha the enclosure will, will be um, AC powered, so you have like a power brick for it. But um, he also has an enclosure for the laptop slim drive as well, which that can be completely USB powered because laptop drives don't use as much um, wattage. But... Um, he just shows the pictures of the different ones, and I will overlay some of these pictures. But um, I, I went ahead and um, purchased this drive from him. I purchased the Asus BW-16D1HT. Now, this optical drive um, supports triple layer and quad layer Blu-ray disc. It can also burn triple and quad layer, which means I can burn... 120 gig disc sad part is 120 gig disc nobody really makes um blank blu-rays or triple quad layer or i mean quad layer blank blu-rays verbatim does make triple layer blank blu-rays but they're like ten dollars a disc so that it can be kind of expensive but um the read speeds on this are looks like it's maxing out at on blu-ray about 12x read speeds um Write speeds 16 times. Write speeds, um, of course, if you're doing triple and qual layer, it goes down to six times, which usually just when you're writing this around that, it's going to write around like two to four X. But um, yeah, so those are the read speeds, read and write speeds of this drive. It does have M disk support as well, and it does support BDXL, like I told you, up to 120 gig data storage on one disk, which also. It can read those, so that means it can read 4K Blu-rays. Um, obviously, it has the Libre drive available. Um, what else is this feature on here? Disk encryption. I think that's just a software thing. Don't care about that. It does say it has um, really good burning quality. It uses QTS technology to increase burning success rates and provides users fast and high-quality operation. It pre-tested the disk, generates the optimal burning strategy, and then... So it should have a decent burner as well. I really like to use my Pioneer Drive to burn Blu-rays, though. I'm mainly using this as a um, a ripper drive because um, it has that Libre Drive um, capability, which is really nice. So um, I'm going to show you um, the drive. So on the front, it just says Blu-ray disc. You have Asus eGreen, which I guess that's like a software thing to where it will turn off the drive when it's not in use or some shit. And it does support M-Disc, which most optical drives nowadays do support M-Disc. Um, on, the, on the back, like I said, there's no hacking or modifications here. It's not like a hacked product or something. It just has slightly modified firmware to allow raw data access, making it a Libre drive. You just have your standard SATA interface, um, SATA power, and um, SATA um, data. So on the top, right here, it says it's Asus. Blu-ray disc rewriter, model BW-16D1HT. And um, this was made in um, 2020. So this actually is a newer drive, which is interesting that he was able to still modify the firmware. Although he did say he had some special type of deal with Asus. Um... Yeah, these come directly from the factory in Taiwan. So I'm not sure how he's getting his hands on these drives. If he's getting them directly from Asus, by the sounds of it. So maybe he's requesting it with an older firmware um, to where he can still um, go in there and flash a Libre drive. Because I know that's an issue on newer drives. Is they will make it to where you can't go back in terms of um, firmware. And um, they're trying to circumvent people from flashing um, Libre Drive on the newer drives. So, um, but this is right here made um, January of 2020. And um, yeah, right there, January 2020. Is made in China, of course. What, what else is new? But um, 
yeah, that's that's it as far as looking at the drive itself. We are going to go ahead and install it into the um, computer, and um, I will show you what it looks like on Make MKV, how it shows up. Um, it should when we go to Make MKV, it should show the drive, and it should say Libre Drive is enabled and ready to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and install our Libre Drive. Um, so I got to remove my old drive, which is going to be the center one. So let's go ahead and install it. I got to take the um, back panel off because I did screw it in on the other side. Should just pop right out. Oh, my drive disconnected. In. Now we got to screw it down and secure it. I'm going to screw in the back first. Libre drives installed. We'll go ahead and boot into our um, boot the computer and go into make MKV and verify that it's showing up and showing Libre drive. Okay, so we are on the computer. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look and make sure that um, our drive is showing up in make MKV. First thing I do recommend you do though is you head over to make mkv.com, go to the download section and make sure you have the latest version of make MKV running. So I can see I'm running version 1.15.4, which is the current latest version. So in Make MKV, you'll have a drop down that's going to show your various um, drives. As you can see, I have a Pioneer Blu-ray drive, the BDR-209D, which right here, Libre drive information, not supported. It says might be supported in the future. Keep fingers crossed. But um, there's no firmware available for this drive that allows Libre Drive um, access. I'd have to have it flashed if it came out. There's the current firmware it's running. So as you can see, what I have to rely on to rip Blu-rays with this drive, which this drive can only do dual-layer Blu-rays. So it can only do 1080p Blu-rays, 
and I have to have the key, which the key will download from a database. But if it's a brand new Blu-ray or maybe a more obs obscure Blu-ray, um, the chances of having the key in that case, you know, are pretty slim. So you really want to have LibreDrive available. But the vast majority of Blu-rays, if you're mainly ripping um, main title 1080p Blu-rays, you don't really necessarily need um, Libre Drive in that instance because um, the key database they have is um, pretty extensive. It does have um, the vast majority of Blu-rays. But um, if you want to rip 4K Blu-rays or more obscure Blu-rays, you're going to need a drive that does um, Libre Drive. And you need a drive that can do um, triple and quad layer. So we go to the drop down, and I also have a regular. Um, DVD burner. This is actually a light on I has um, one one twenty four dash fourteen, and this this drive is really good for ripping CDs and stuff. So that's just a typical drive. So only thing I can rip with this would be DVDs. And then we have our library drive, as you can see right here, the ASUS BW sixteen D one HT. And when we click on here, you're gonna notice something different compared to the other um, drives under library drive information status is enabled so our library drive is picking up and it works awesome we got the drive platform firmware type it says patched awesome firmware version is 3.10 dvd r regions yes so it's not region locked either i think that's another feature with library drive is um if it if a dvd is locked to a specific region a specific country um you won't be able to rip it unless you change your drive to that region. And you only do that a certain number of times. Leave your drive, it says, I don't give a crap where the DVD is from. I ain't going to restrict you. I'm going to give you access. So that's awesome. And you see right here, Blu-ray disc raw data read. Yes. That's what BD means. It means Blu-ray disc. Um, Blu-ray disc raw metadata read. Yes. Unrestricted read speeds. Yes. Awesome. So I right here have the perfect scenario. I have my library drive and it is ready for action. It is ready to rip um, Blu-rays. Now I don't have any 4K Blu-rays um, on hand, but I may revisit this video later, um, ripping a 4K Blu-ray using this drive. Um, I do have 1080p Blu-rays, a couple of them, but I was able to rip those with my Pioneer drive <laughs> using the key. But um, anyway guys, that just goes to show um, here is the library drive and self explanatory. You pop in the disc and you rip it, right? Um, one thing I will note though, when ripping Blu rays, um, go into your settings or your preferences on Make MKV. And what I recommend you doing is um, go into lang language and set both of these to English or whatever your language is. So make sure you set both of these to English. And, um, another thing is go into here and, um, select your main media player that you use. Um, I use, um, K-Lite Codec, Codec Pack, and so I use Media Player Classic. So come in here and enable your main, um, video player as well. What this will allow is if you pop in a Blu-ray and say you don't want to rip it, you just want to watch it. Um, using your media player, this will basically make MKV on 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 the fly decrypt it as you're reading a disc and watching it in your player. So say you don't want to say you don't want to rip the Blu-ray, you just want to watch it. You can use Make MKV as the intermediary um, decryptor during during that um, during viewing, <laughs> if that makes sense. And this will pipe it out to um, your media player of choice. So that's another thing I recommend you go go and do. And I, I did try that um, with a 1080p Blu-ray on my um, Pioneer Drive and it just, it worked flawless. Um, it does take a little while when you first pop it in. It, it, it takes a little while for this to get kicking. I'd say a couple minutes, then boom, it, it just works. But um, setting your language in here to um, what your, your main um, language is will allow it to automatically deselect all the other um, audio tracks for different languages because when you rip the blu-ray by default it's going to include all the audio tracks which 
in some cases can be different languages. And all you're in, all you're ending up doing in that scenario is you're making your MKV, your file size, a lot bigger because you're 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 dumping a lot of audio tracks that you're not you don't even need. Um, so I do recommend you set this to your primary language, and by default, it will just rip, or it will just um, rip and dump just the English audio tracks into your MKV file, and not every single audio track. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap that up. I don't have a 4K Blu-ray. I'm sorry. I know, pretty incomplete video, right? <laughs> but I hope this um, helps you guys out, and um, you guys can see what it actually ends up looking like. Pretty neat. I, I mean, I can't wait to to use that. That is pretty kick-ass. But um, anyway, guys, if you have any questions or comments, um, please let me know. Have a good day.